Hey what's up guys my name is Isab and you are watching everyone's story. Today in this video I am going to review episode 89 of this Pokemon journey. But before all that I want to like to like the video as a motivation purpose for me. Now without wasting any time let's return me straight to the video. So as usual I will first give a brief summary of the episode with some of my personal thought and then in the end I will end the episode out of 10. So the episode starts where Dalda and Palti are battling with each other in an unknown universe and they at last open a bunch of portals and the alternative universe team Roger watches all this alongside two huge Arceus rings which is so suspicious that how they have this ring and how they know that Dalda and Palti are going to come to this unknown universe and fight with each other. So definitely it seems to me that this alternative team Roger is going to play some major role in this whole art. Although, meanwhile we saw in Senior Region, Dawn and her Pokemon are preparing for a Thorn test and Piplop was sleeping and keep ignoring everything. So Dawn tell him to wet up but Piplop run away in the forest nearby and Dawn follow him. And then we saw that Piplop meet the alternative universe Dawn who took him and tell him to her universe through the portal and then also the portal that vanished. After that we saw Don told as and told him about Piplop getting kidnapped by someone. Then Professor Saiz also tell as and though that a bunch of Pokemon are missing in Sino region. So the trio immediately has to a Sino region where they meet Don and Don seems very upset about Piplop missing. So as bring a dip for her some food to cheer him cheer her up. Then Don tell them that someone who looked just like her stolen Piplop and went to a weird portal and as immediately say that a altar hole. So it was a very good reference to Sun and Moon City by as that he first thing he remember was an altar hole. Although then though and Chloe thinking that it should be a coincidence as they mentioned a taste of episode 79 in which we saw a doll who looked just like Chloe. Then shortly after we saw Team Rocket tried to kidnap Pikachu but as swiftly bring out Lutario and break free Pikachu with an aura spear. Following it, Indalian used Snipe Shot and sent Team Rocket blasting off again. Then just after that a portal opened in front of them and an alternative universe Team Rocket come out of it. And they quickly attacked on Lutario and Indalian with their special high tech kind of done. And also kidnap Lutario and Indalian and take them through the portal. However, before the portal that closed, Dawn and Doe managed to go inside of the portal leaving As and Chloe behind. Dawn and Doe then looked around and began to think that they could be in an alternative universe by seeing the purple aurora in the sky. Then Dawn think they should go to this alternative universe Dawn's house to find out what's really happening. Then in the alternative universe Dawn's room, they see the picture of Dawn and her Piplov in Sino finest and we also come to know that this alternative universe dawn was a finalist in the Sino region and my previous video person also that tell that this alternative universe dawn is a Pokemon trainer not a Pokemon coordinator whatever then shortly after the alternative universe dawn also arrived there in the room holding Piplop in hand and our universe dawn and Piplop reunited again then the alternative universe dawn tell them that something is wrong with the time itself as one day all her Pokemon started to devolve and finally converted into Ed now. And it's not only happened with her but all Pokemon in the Snow Eden began to de-evolve. So then early in the day when she saw our universe Dawn Piplo through the portal, she grabbed him by thinking it's her Piplo. So alternative universe Dawn then applies to our universe Dawn but our universe Dawn then fought her. However, after that our universe Dawn began to panic without that means her Pokemon are also going to de-evolve soon if they stay there long. Then everyone is started to think if something is wrong with the time then it could be dialed down. Meanwhile on the original universe we saw that Ice comes to a conclusion that this portal should have some connection with Paltia. So Ice and Do Chloe went to a library to do some more research about all this and this is where they find Cynthia and Cynthia was also doing research about all this mysterious event. Then Chloe and Cynthia meet and as say to Cynthia that he think that this portal must have something to do with Paltia. After that 
Cynthia tells them about Dialta and Paltia's role in transforming space and time and how Arceus is the creator and leader of them. Then outside of the library, the alternative team rotted, appears again and demand and asks demand to know where his Lutario is, but Team Rotted only want to steal more Pokemon. Then Cynthia with her diadem attack on Team Rotted, but Meowth with his high tech suit blocked his attack. Then we saw that Cynthia Taman Diadem to attack with reversed steel, but he did not able to attack. Also, as Peter too, Tan able to use his Thunderbolt. And then Alternative Universe Jesse mentioned that the effect had also led to this dimension. So it seems that Pokemon are first followed their moves and then started to devolve. Although, then Cynthia quickly revealed her another Pokemon who was a Tomo and sent Team Rotate back to the portal. However, this time Ash and Chloe also do inside of the portal and Adin by seeing Harola and Desha to understand they had come to an alternative universe. And then just after that, as encounter the alternative universe as and they both become very sought by seeing each other. And now the episode ends with Dialda and Paltia continue fighting with each other. But this time we are in the RTS ring and surrounded by a weird red chain and portals. So now this was a brief summary of the episode and about my personal thought, then this was a fantastic episode. I love the whole concept of alternative universe and also the way it was shown in the episode. Plus, Do and Dawn interaction was good and as and Chloe interaction in this episode was also very good. And I loved how they saw Cynthia attend Pokemon and Team Rotted was so amazing in this episode as they looked like a real threat in real threat to everyone. And Delta and Palti are fighting with each other and is still unknown. So the suspension of the episode was also very good. So now in my opinion, this episode rating is 10 out of 10. Since if you follow me, then you know that I never had this any Pokemon Journey episode 10 out of 10. So this was a really a fantastic episode and it deserved to get a 10 out of 10. Whatever, now that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more disciple related videos in future. Also, be sure to comment your thoughts and ideas about this episode and if you have any ideas for upcoming videos. Now, if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, then you can link in the description box area. Thanks for watching.